Alrighty. Looky, looky, looky. Alright. Yay. My weekend consisted of a blowout. Well, not really a blowout. Sidewalk, yeah. Called a blowout. Sidewalk. Sidewalk blowout. But, uh, I do say the tires are good. Well, they're good. They're good enough. They protected the, the face of the wheel. Now, the other side of the wheel, not so much. But, it's the pretty part that matters. So, I'm going to flip this bad boy over. And, basically show what happened. Oh, boy. Mm. Um, some part right here blew open, and there it went. Um, I do say the wheels are—they did their job. Um, I did good by selecting the proper weight rating. So once you do, once you select the right, the proper weight rating. Yeah, don't have any cracked wheels or nothing like that. Um, this is in the driver, yeah, the driver front. So, yeah, it was just a freak accident. But, uh, but you know, it happens. But I am going to prevent this. I'm going to, I'm going to, replace all the tires and get another size um, but I just made this uh, just want to make just to school people that if you make sure you get the right weight rating for your wheels that way you know disaster strikes or you hit potholes or something like that they won't crack and break um, a lot of people will uh, Especially the lower people will cry and say, hey, oh, the roads are bad. They bent my wheels or whatever. Uh, no, the, the reason why your wheels are bent is because you bought wheels that doesn't support the weight of the car under load. Which, you know, to be honest, most factory wheels on these Volkswagens, they are shit. And they are notorious for for being underwhelmed so that's why I'm not really worried about putting factory wheels on this car anymore because the factory ones I sold were cracked <laughs> and those are 18s and factory tires so yeah the tires do not keep your wheels from cracking per se unless you unless you have severely underweighted wheels or whatnot but it is what it is but I say I ain't gonna give these tires a bad review because they're actually pretty good. It's just uh it's just I it's just a combination of I I think I, I think I ran over something, I think. I only think I ran over something. I think it's uh I heard something go boom, so I think it's just a little blowout or whatever, probably pressure. Cause it was cold that night. But what I'm going to do is get 295, uh, 25s all the way around so I won't have the stretch look anymore. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it, but I'm going to feel a little bit safer about it. But just to show, let's show a little update. Yeah, I got a little scuff marks back here, but no bends. And keep in mind, I was doing like 80 miles an hour when this happens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful. I'm thankful the car handled like a champ and No damage to the face of the wheel, which I'm shocked. So Yeah I, I would recommend these and I couldn't find these I Couldn't find these anywhere. They said they're all on back order on the size I wanted because I wanted to keep these mile stars because they're pretty good They're pretty good. They rode well But I scoured the forums and I was gonna go with the Continentals, but they said when it comes to these size, the Continentals are not that good on tread wear. And these have 20, have, how many oil changes I've been through? One, two, yeah, these have about 20 something thousand miles. So, yeah. So these puppies are pretty good and I did not rotate them either. So, you know, shame on me. 
but just to show you I'm honest and I would give an update but I went to the forums is this a nail or what uh oh I think I found where my little thingy came from oh yeah that's where it came from yep a little nail oh man well Aw, uh, well, you yeah. know, it happens, so. Oh, uh, man. Yep. But, just a little update. But, I say these wheels, <laughs> A+. plus. Yep, A+. Plus. Just kind of show you, you get the, white, the right uh, weight rating on your wheels, you're good. So, you know, it is what it is. Um... Uh, close that. That never gets up. So you want? Me. Yep. I'm gonna get some tires. Uh, I stole the idea from uh, Matt Armstrong. Like he uh, he has a uh, 295s all the way around on his Bentley, and I know it'll work out. It just you'll see more tire stick out. The tire stick stick out a little bit but it's all good yeah right now i'm running on this and i gotta replace this too because uh it's super dry it is old and let me see what uh i need to see the date code on this thing i know it's old i cannot find the date code on here Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, this is 2007. Oh no, we finna get rid of that. Yeah, it's an old tire. Yep, so I gotta replace this, this tire. And I will put it back in the trunk as a spare. As soon as I get a new tire for it. Um, but yeah, that's a little update little updating so pretty much this law is down it'd be it'd be right to here so I'm okay with that uh, well I ain't gonna trust to be okay with it <laughs> but life is such life is such but the thing here is make sure your wheel rating your low rating for the wheels can handle the weight of the car clearly I did a good job um, also, also I calculated the load of the tires too. Um, so they actually did their job. They actually did their job. It's just uh, temperature differences in that nail. Like I didn't, I could not tell it was, it was a uh, low on air. So obviously that little leak would have caused it and driving on it, but couldn't feel anything. So. But, you know, life goes on. But, uh, just a little update. And later on, I will run through, I will run through diagnosing the, my latest lights that are on, just to show you guys. But, it's pretty simple, straightforward. And, surprisingly, I think it'll save me some money. So, we shall see.